Once upon a time, in a cozy little town, a joyous event was about to take place. My mother was going to be a grandmother for the first time. My brother and his wife were expecting their first child, and the entire family was filled with excitement. This unborn child was not only the first grandchild for my mother but also the first niece or nephew for the rest of us. As newcomers to this grandparent, parent and aunt experience, we were sometimes unsure about what to do. Questions filled our minds. Is it okay to walk longer? What foods should be avoided? My mother, who had already raised eight children, was the expert in this area. She confidently shared her wisdom and advice with her son and daughter-in-law, always ensuring they also consulted their doctor and read books on the subject. The day finally arrived when my sister-in-law started experiencing contractions in the evening. Mama immediately declared it was time to bring her to the hospital. The household sprung into action, frantically preparing the car and rushing to the hospital. My mother, of course, went with them, along with my brother and his wife, and other family members. The rest of us stayed behind at home, anxiously awaiting news. I observed my mother as she hastily got dressed, appearing surprisingly calm despite the commotion around her. It wasn't until they reached the hospital and my sister-in-law was taken into the delivery room that the truth was revealed. My mother had accidentally worn the wrong pair of slippers to the hospital, a mix-up she had not even noticed until that moment. It was clear to me that beneath her composed exterior, she was bubbling with excitement. This was her first grandchild, after all. Hours passed, and the anticipation grew. Finally, the moment arrived. They gave birth to a beautiful baby girl, and they named her Erica. In less than a week, Erica was brought home, and welcomed into a house filled with love and joy. At first, it was my mother who took charge of bathing Erica, carefully and tenderly handling every aspect of the process. However, it didn't take long for my sister-in-law's maternal instincts to kick in. She was anxious to take on this responsibility herself, to give Erica her baths and bond with her in that special way. My mother whispered to me, a twinkle in her eyes, see, Erica's mother is very anxious and really wants to give her daughter a bath. It's only natural. With the passing of time, my mother stepped back and let her daughter-in-law take the reins, providing guidance and support as needed. It was a beautiful sight to behold, a new mother blossoming with confidence and love for her child, with the guidance and wisdom of her own mother-in-law. The house overflowed with happiness, care, and love for little Erica. My mother reveled in her role as a grandmother, cherishing each precious moment spent with her granddaughter. The journey into grandparenthood and aunthood had just begun, but it was already filled with beautiful memories and the promise of more joyous moments to be treasured in the future.